Hi guys, welcome to Cup of Teach. This time, I'm going to discuss theorems on trapezoid. Let us define first trapezoid. Trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. What are the parts of a trapezoid? Let us consider this trapezoid. All angles of a trapezoid, we call it base angles. A pair of parallel sides of a trapezoid, we call it bases or B1 and B2. And the other opposite sides of a trapezoid, we call it legs. Let us draw here midpoints. If you're going to connect two midpoints, the line or the segment connecting the two midpoints, we call it median. Let us draw here another line perpendicular to this side and it forms right angle this line we call it altitude so these are the parts of a trapezoid let's go now to the theorems on trapezoid the mission of a trapezoid is parallel to the bases and has a length equal to half the sum of the lengths of the bases so let us consider this trapezoid math or mat let us draw here mission which is parallel to two bases. And let us name this median as ES. So, meron tayo dito midpoint E at midpoint S. So, ibig sabihin, yung ME natin is equal to the measure of EH. And yung measure ng AS is equal to the measure of ST. Then, how will you determine the measure of the median? So, median is equal to B1 plus B2 all over 2 or median is equal to 1 half times B1 plus B2. So let us consider this example. If MA is equal to 20 and HT is equal to 34, what is the length of ES? So ang ES natin dyan, that is the median. Then gamitin natin ang formula. So ang B1 natin ay 20. So that is MA. Ang B2 natin ay 34, that is HT. By substitution, so we will have now ES is equal to 20, that is B1, plus 34, that is B2, all over 2. 20 plus 34, that is 54, divided by 2. Therefore, ang ES natin ay 27. Let us consider this isosceles trapezoid. For number 2, sabi dito, the legs are congruent. So, ito yung legs ng isosceles trapezoid. Therefore, they are congruent. So, we're going to use here one mark. So, ibig sabihin, itong side na to ay congruent to this side. So, kung anong measure nitong side na to, the same then or equal dito sa kabila. Number three, upper base angles are congruent. So, upper base, so ito yung upper base natin. So, they are congruent. So, we're going to use here one mark. Kung one mark dito, automatic sa kabila ay one mark din ang gagamitin natin para masabi natin they are congruent or they are equal. Number four, lower base angles are congruent. So, ito yung dalawang angles natin, yung lower base natin. Ibig sabihin, gagamit tayo dito ng dalawang marks. Kung dalawang marks dito, automatic dito sa kabila ay dalawang marks din. So, hindi ka po pwedeng gumamit na isang mark kasi pag gumamit ka na isang mark dito, ibig sabihin, itong angle na to at itong angle na to ay congruent. So, hindi po pwede. So, kung isang mark dito, isang mark dun sa kabila, ibig sabihin they are congruent. Then, since ito ay magkaiba dito sa angle na to, pag kang gagamit ng isang mark. So, gamit tayo ng dalawang marks. So, two marks here and another two marks here indicated that they are congruent. Number five, diagonals are congruent. So, let us draw diagonals. So, the two diagonals are congruent. Number six, the median bisect each diagonal. So, let us draw median. So, ito yung isang sample natin ng diagonal. So, binisect daw siya ng median. So, when we say bisect, ibig sabihin hinate yung diagonal into two congruent parts. So, ibig sabihin, itong part na to ay congruent sa part na to. So, let us apply these theorems 
Sample number two, find the measure of the following. Number one, you have to find the measure of ME. So, since ang AL natin dito ay 8, therefore, ang measure ng ME natin ay 8 because they are congruent. Number 2, ang YO natin is equal to 12. So, this is diagonal YO. And what is the measure of JE? Ang JE natin is also diagonal. So, sabi dun sa theorem, diagonals of a trapezoid are congruent. Therefore, kung si YO natin ay 12, automatically, si JE natin is also 12. Number 3, IK is equal to blank. So, since ang segment SP natin ay 9, ang hinahanap natin ay measure ng IK, ibig sabihin isang buo, ang opposite side ng trapezoid or ang legs nila ay congruent. So, since ito ay legs, ibig sabihin si IK at si ME ay congruent. So, since ang SE natin ay 9, so, para makuha natin yung isang buo na to, since ito ay 9, automatically itong kabila natin is also 9. So, yung isang buo ay 18. So, kung ito ay 18, ang ME natin, the measure is 18, automatically the measure of IK natin ay 18 din. Number 4, what is the measure of angle TRA? So, ito si TRA. Since ang measure ng angle a natin ay 70. So, ano ang magiging measure ng angle TRA? Palaging tandaan sa trapezoid natin, consecutive angles, consecutive angles are supplementary. So, kung supplementary sila, ang measure ng dalawang angle na magkasunod or consecutive is 180 degrees. So, since meron na tayo ditong 70, Ima-minus lang natin sa 180, yun ang magiging angle TRA natin. And the measure of angle TRA is 110. So kapag kinuha natin ang sum ng 110 at 70, that is equal to 180 degrees. Number 3, solve for the base indicated in the trapezoid. So ito ang given na trapezoid. Meron na tayong label dito, ang RE natin which is 6, and NG natin is 8, that is the median. Ang nawawalang measure ay yung DI. So, para makuha natin ang DI, we're going to use pa rin yung theorems ng trapezoid, which is median is equal to 1 half times base 1 plus base 2, or yung median is equal to B1 plus B2 all over 2. So, we have now NG, that is the median, is equal to 1 half. Ang B1 natin ay RE. So, that is the B1. And ang B2 natin ay yung DI. Then, substitution, ang NG natin ay 8, is equal to 1 half. Ang RE natin ay 6 plus DI. And then, since meron tayo dito 1 half, so para matanggal natin ang Denominator na 2, we need to multiply both side by 2. So, you can cancel it now. So, ang matitira na lang dito ay 1. So, kapag minultiply natin dito kay 6 plus di, ang magiging sagot pa rin ay 6 plus di kasi wala naman ng bearing ang 1. And then, we're going to multiply yung 2 and 8. So, the answer is 16 is equal to 6 plus di. Then, to solve for di, we need to transpose 6. To the left side, so pag nag-transpose tayo, automatically mag-change ng sign. So, since ito ay positive, so mag-change siya, magiging negative na siya. So, we will have now 16 minus 6 is equal to di. Then, subtract the 2, that is 10. So, di is equal to 10. Example number 4, find LS in trapezoid hope. Ang LS natin dito, that is the median of the trapezoid. Given HO, which is 5X minus 6, that is B1, 7X minus 2, that is the median, and 38, that is B2. So, gamitin natin yung median, which is LS is equal to 1 half, times HO, that is B1, plus EP, that is B2. Substitution lang tayo. So, ang LS natin ay 7x minus 2 is equal to 1 half 
times ang HO natin ay 5X minus 6 plus ang EP natin ay 38. So, since meron tayo ditong 1 half, so kailangan natin mag-multiply both side by 2 to cancel out 2 sa denominator. So, matitira na lang dito ay 1. Kapag minultiply natin dito sa 5X minus 6 plus 38, ay the same pa rin ng magiging answer. So, ang 1 kasi ay wala na siyang very. So, we will have now 2 times 7x minus 2 is equal to 5x minus 6 plus 38. Then, pwede pa natin isimplify ang minus 6 plus 38. So, multiply natin yung 2 at saka yung 7x. Then, yung 2 at saka yung uh, minus 2. So, we will have now 14x minus 4 is equal to 5x plus 32. So, ito ay 32 kasi uh, consider natin ito ay negative 6 plus 38. So, magkaiba sila ng sign. So, you have to subtract. Kaya, naging 32 siya. Then, yung 5x, transpose natin beside 14x kasi they are similar terms. Pag nag-transpose, automatically mag-change ng sign. So, since ito ay positive 5x, so magiging negative na siya. Yung minus 4 beside 32, Kasi they are similar terms, so mag-change ng sign ang negative 4. So, magiging positive 4 na siya. So, we will have now 14x minus 5x is equal to 32 plus 4. So, nakita nyo, yung 5x dito is positive, so naging minus na siya dito. Then, ito ay minus 4, dito naging plus 4 na siya. So, nagbago lahat ng sign, lahat ng inilipat. And then, simplify natin ang 14x minus 5x, that is 9x. Then, 32 plus 4, that is 36. So, kailangan natin masolve ang x. So, since ang x natin ay may 9 pa dito, we need to divide both side by 9 to cancel out 9 at matira na lang ay x sa left side. So, 36 divided by 9, the answer is 4. So, meron na tayong value ng x. So, pwede na tayong mag-substitute dito sa median which is 7x minus 2. So, let us use ls is equal to 7x minus 2. Substitution lang tayo. So, yung x natin, gagawin na natin 4. Substitute 4. So, we will have now 7 times 4 minus 2. And 7 times 4 is 28 minus 2. Therefore, ls is equal to 26. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!